Welcome. I'm so delighted to be with each one of you. This week we have a very special study from the lives of women of the Bible. There are so many different women and their lives speak of the faith and worship which they had in their God. So we're going to look at different ones of them and see uh, what we can receive from it. Though we are looking at lives of uh, women, we um, this is not to say that only women can learn from the study. Um, the insights are for everyone, and we can apply it in our lives. And today, I want us to look at the life of Hannah. Uh, let's read a couple of scriptures here. Um, uh, in fact, one scripture, First Samuel one and verse fifteen. But Hannah answered and said, "No, my lord." I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor intoxicating drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Hannah's condition was one of great adversity, not because something was happening to her, um, you know, externally. Yes, of course, she was facing the taunts of a rival. Uh, but she also had good things happening in her life, and she had a very loving husband who was supportive of her. But at the same time, there was a desire of her heart that was still unfulfilled, and that was a desire for a child. We see Hannah persisting in the presence of God. This verse, verse fifteen, that we just read, um, this reveals to us that whenever the family went for worship to the temple. No, Hannah would be there, pouring out her heart, even crying uh, to God. And we read the the way she was praying. There was no sound coming out, but her lips would move, which is why the priests thought that she was probably drunk. But you know, then we see what happens because of her faith. You know, God blesses Hannah. God gives her a son, and she named him Samuel because God heard her prayer. And we know that Samuel is one of those leading prophets. During the days of Samuel, the word was rare, is what we read, meaning people did not hear God's voice. But here was a man who heard God's voice, and he was instrumental in um, in in really blessing the the children of Israel with the prophetic anointing. And that was uh, an outcome, you could say, in in a way of the devotion of this. Lady by the name of Hannah. So the different things that we can learn from Hannah's life. You know, it was a life of adversity now because there was an internal struggle that she had. And what do we do when we carry these internal struggles? Now, the best thing to do is to go to God's presence. We see that Hannah's expectation was from God. She went to God, like Psalm one twenty one says. Now I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. So Hannah's expectation was from God, and she knew that God was her deliverer. It it was only God who could do something about her situation, and it is so beautiful to read in one Samuel one nineteen. That as a result of her persistent prayer, she was a woman who did not give up in prayer. She went to the extent of crying and weeping, and releasing the distress of her soul in prayer continually till God answered her. And so, in one Samuel one nineteen, we read that God remembered her. Not only that, you no. Know, later on, we see that Hannah worshipped God. She even uh, surrendered her son. To be in the work of the ministry, so that is the life of Hannah for us. And just the way she was expectant from God, I want to encourage us to expect from God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that Lord, you would give us Lord this heart that uh, seeks you, Father God. Yes, Lord, and uh, pursues you. And Father, we thank you that Lord, our help comes from you, and each one of us will receive. Um, Lord, from you, because you are our deliverer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.